Hello and welcome to my channel. This is your ports. This is going to be on both my channels, my your ports channel and my PC attack channel. Uh, today I just got trying threes early access as you guys can see here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo this and I'm also going to be showing the performance of the Titan X which is in this PC. Just in case you guys are curious on my spec, I have DDR4 RAM in here at 2400 I have a 5960X overclocked to 4.7 I have a Titan X as my um, GPU running this game and the motherboard is the ASUS Deluxe X99 motherboard the reason why I went with the Deluxe is one I like the color and uh, two uh, some of the features in Extreme as of right now I'm not going to use and pretty much plan to upgrade my motherboard anyways within you know the next few months if they release another x99 platform motherboard hopefully we will be using um, USB 3.1 at that time if not I'm gonna go with whatever they're using you know because they're advanced in technology so fast as you can see in the upper left hand corner of my screen it's only going to be GPU focused. I know other people on their channel focus on CPU and they're focusing on um, RAM usage. As of right now, this is pretty much a GPU test. So the only thing I'm caring about is GPU. I know that my processor is not going to be a bottleneck. I know that my RAM is not going to be a bottleneck. But I know that some games are not well optimized. So they use more of your GPU than is necessary. So since I'm only focusing on the Titan X, I'm only going to stay within that realm of showing you the performance of the Titan X. As you can see, I got the fan speed, GPU usage, how much VRAM I'm using, so forth and so on. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm using this, I got this set up to 4K. The monitor I'm using is an ASUS XP280HK, which is a G-Sync 60Hz 4K monitor. Without further ado, let's get into some gameplay and see what happens. I'm going to start it over for the beginning. Our story began at the Astral Academy. If you guys the don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to skip the cutscenes. The Academy has magical secrets in its This is more of a performance and the wizards had vowed to protect them from falling. A fiercely persistent monster kind of want to stay set its mind on People. So as of right now, if you want to fast forward, you can go ahead, but if not, I'll skip it. And if you request, I will make another video, and um, I'll do a walkthrough of escape if that's what you want to ask for. So all these do is recent get into incidents around the academy. And who could the wizards mean? Okay, I'm skipping this. As you're Why, aware of, course, I, I have started the three playing this heroes of our You know, story. I've been through the first Amadeus, on that time, Pontius, a stout-hearted knight and protector of the common folk, was busy you know, this is be a great He was tracking thieves you know, game, who had abducted a sheep it. from a poor yeah, he pretty much gives you an idea of the type of performance. As you can see right there in the upper left-hand corner, the memory usage of this Titan X right now is a little bit over 2 gigs. And this is at 4K. Uh, everything is maxed out except for anti-aliasing. Because I don't see the point to maxing out anti-aliasing at 4K. You know, I don't notice the difference. Not in this game. Certain games you do. And I will recommend using um, SMAA anti-aliasing over all other anti-aliasing out there. I don't like FXAA because it kind of blurs the image for me. And it's not as crisp. But some games, like I hate to say this, Assassin's Creed Unity, that game for some odd reason, you know, benefits from AA. You have a little bit of jaggedies along the few edges. Some people may not notice it or may not care. But I'm a stickler, so I'm kind of. I do care. I care about my performance, and I care about my uh, release the sheet, my graphics, and I'll let you go. Detail. Oh, I don't, but this is nice. Is is you must be competing for someone else. Good. <laughs> and I don't like motion blur. I kind of don't get it. You know, I'm buying a 4K monitor. I understand they're trying to shoot for realism, but motion blur. You know, depth of field can use GPU 
usage just to blur your image. The whole point of 4K and higher resolution is to get the image as crystal clear and detailed as possible. So the point of taking away my detail in an effect is kind of like redundant. It's kind of like fighting against the purchase of this card in, a, in my monitor. I purchased it for quality, detail, sharper images. Why would I want to get rid of it? I want to see as much detail on the screen as, as possible. This is a game I'm not shooting for realism. I'm shooting for, you know, fidelity. I'm shooting for, you know, pristine graphics. I want to see as far as I can see as crystal clear as possible. As of right now, you can see the GPU usage is going all over the place. Yes, I do have this locked at 60 frames per second. This monitor, it really doesn't matter. So I'm not planning on going past 60 frames per second on this monitor. It's not going to benefit me if I do go past 60 frames per second. So why make this car hotter than need be? The fan profile on here, I did modify. Just in case people are wondering, yes, the fan profile was modified. Because this car, if you don't set your own custom fan profile, and this is, as you can see, using Precision X, this car will go around 83 degrees. Yes, the fan speed will stay at 50% once or pass it. But I don't care about hearing my graphic card fan. If it gets too annoying, I would pretty much just water cool it if need be. But what I want more is the car to be as cool as possible. So I kind of like to keep it around the 75 degree margin for GPU temperature and of course that is Celsius not for the height just in case you guys want to know that and um I have to go here this There's normally the blasted piece. so he said that something here is about to end up as goblin grub if I don't stop them soon still going forward throughout the usage as you can see if you're monitoring it I got my frame time there a lot of people do not Put the frame time up, which I don't understand, but you know, to each his own. Frame time to me is just as important as, important as frame rate. So, as of right now, I'm progressing along in this game, as you can see. Um, I'll make it to a point where enemies appear on screen. Drop all your happens, forks and dinner knives! This ship right is here. going back home with me! You're gonna see my frame rate it's still at a rock solid 60, which is good. But I'm not understanding, you know, come on, 88%, 97% GP. <laughs> Which is still good because of G Sync is great. As long as you're getting around 20, I say around 28 frames. Go. That's the end of that. I mean, 30, between really 35 and 60, free. I could barely tell the difference. And between 45 and 60, I really Despite the royal pardons the and grants you know, of land, maybe she other earned. people could tell. Zoya still did a bit you know, of the difference, but treasure. with G Sync, I can't. In the recent it's years, still though, smooth. Zoya had less interest that's the reason in for the largesse of ice and and that's the Instead, reason for going over a hundred directed her attention Since this is an online shooting, which I'm playing professional, their old forgotten it's pretty much no need treasures. for me personally to go past 60 frames per second. If I was playing my Battlefield 4 or, you know, Counter-Strike or Call of Duty, I have a 2K monitor here. Yes, as of right now, it's set up to my secondary PC, which is my wife PC. But I could use that. I have it overclocked to 100 and, uh, 110. So that's pretty good frames per second. Sometimes I'm happy with around 96. I normally try to keep it within a factor of 24, but you know, at 110, Battlefield is great. I mean, my response time is phenomenal. I can see everything that's going on, and I can pretty much go from there. As you can see, I did beat that first level with that um, the first character in the game, I made it to the second character. You know, this game is graphically, it's really nice. I mean, wow. And I like the point that this game is fully 3D, completely. Look, I'm just walking around in a circle. 
and pretty much you got the Assassin's Creed thing going on and everything is working pretty nice as you can see my usage um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a video of um, Call of Duty the only reason being is because Call of Duty has an option which I would never recommend anyone use it and I explain it in the video where I can use all your VRAM in the game so that option is there the reason why I want to show that option is some people debate that there is 12 gigs of VRAM inside that graphic card that is proof that there is I've seen it go to 12 gigs of VRAM uses when I turned that feature on and um, yeah this has been your ports and this is going to be on my your ports channel and my PC attack channel so if you guys have any questions or anything like that just feel free to leave a comment below and just in case you want to know my um, profile my profile on steam is yomegas y-o-m-e-g-a-s i will link that uh, profile name below you guys can see my games and it's yomegas for um ea which is origins in uplay and it's yomegas also for battle.net so if you guys want to see some of the games that I have and you want to see some gameplay of 5960X, Titan X, because I'm going to throw up a few more videos of gameplay just to show the performance of Titan X across different types of games. And especially Battlefield 4, which wow, that made a huge difference. It's super smooth in Battlefield 4. Um, just feel free to comment below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.